Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to learn how to apply concatenation values in SSRS. We'll learn how to do a basic concatenation. We'll then learn how to apply formatting on the concatenated values. We'll then learn another method of concatenation, which is using placeholders. And of course, we'll learn how to apply formatting on the placeholders. So let's get started. Okay, let me quickly run my data set and show you this is a basic employee data set. And as you can see in my data set, I have my first name and last name of the employees separated. And I would like to concatenate this together. So to do that, I will change my view into the design view and I will add a calculated value in my data set. And I'll call this employee pool name. And then what I will do is I'll click on the FX in order to go to the expression. And so I will begin my expression. So since I need to concatenate, I will use the N symbol in order to concatenate. But what are the two fields that I need to concatenate? So let's go to our fields section over here under the category and let's get our first name first. So I'll double click on it to get it activated on the expression. So first name and then I'm going to use N. And then what I will use is I will use a double code string in order to put a space in between. So as you can see, there's a space in between as I want the space to be there between the first names and the last name. And so in order for me to continue to concatenate another field, I will I'll click on the end symbol and then I will add another field, which is the last name. And now let's run this report. Add a column. Now let's run this report. So as you can see now, once I have run the report, the employee name has been concatenated into the last column, and and as you can see, there are there's a space in between the first names and the last name. And that's something that we had done. Now what I want to do is I want to modify this and I want to put their annualized salary as well. So uh, their annualized salary is and so forth so let's quickly do that so i'm just going to modify that so i'm going to go to my data set properties and i'm going to go to my expression again and so what i will do is in the beginning i will write a string message and that's why i'm going to put a double quote in analyzed salary for with a space the end right for and i'll put an end over here for this name and symbol double quotes is space and and let's gonna put our invisible over here and now let's run the report so there you go it shows annual survey for jamie donaldson is this much and as you can see there's a space missing on the east part so we can fix that up but at the same time what i want to show you is that the formatting is not applied so how do we go about applying the formatting on to the concatenated values whereby we can set this format into a proper currency as you can see on the separate column that we have under the uh, annual salary let's now go back to our designer view and get this formatted so under the designer view we'll, we will go to our calculated fields we will go to our expression over here and let me just put a space over here to get the is sorted out and now uh, let's go to our analyze salary so this is where we would want to apply a currency formatting now in order to apply currency formatting you would go click on the common functions under the category and you will click on the text and if you go to the text and under the items column you will see you have the format currency format uh, date format numbers uh, format percentage as well so you can apply this similar formatting as well and under the description over here you would see that there's an example at the bottom of how you can apply it and then the value that needs to be there so what we will do is we are we are focused on our currency so we will try to get this into this. So it says that the, it needs to have any format currency in the beginning, then against the fill and then the format value. So we'll 
put our case in front of our field and double click on it that's where we have our format currency brackets this is our value as a, and it's a comma and let's go with the default let's see what zero will show us the output and let's run our report now so when you run the report you can see it's giving uh, in whole numbers so zero i guess it gives in whole numbers but we don't want this we want the exact amount to show and also we want it to be shown in two decimal places so that there's more accuracy into that so let's further modify this we're going to change to our design view again so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the annual salary and under the properties under the property section we're going to scroll down and you will see the format that is applied on that column so what you're going to do is you're going to copy this all right and let's go to our calculated fields okay in order to apply a custom format what you would be using is instead of our format currency we would be using our format the format clause over here and in the format clause if you notice from the example you need to specify the formatting in codes so first things first let's remove that currency so that it's format and then under the comma what we will do is we will use a double code and inside the double code we will paste the format that we had copied from the properties of that particular column that we wanted so now what we will do is we will run the report again and now you will see the exact format has come from this column that we had wanted now we will learn how to apply concatenation in placeholders so let's go back to our design view since this is no longer uh, employee concatenated with employee name it is concatenated with the employee name and salary so let me just type that i have another uh, field concatenated uh, through sql so i'm going to insert that over here to save up our time and now in order to put a place holder what i will do is i'll double click on it and now i can put a space and type whatever i want to so what i want to type is the employee name annual salary is and then i will show you now in a while on how we can add another field but let's run it as it is and let's see whether it runs or not so if I run this, as you can see, it runs properly fine without any issues. Now let's quickly go back and let's include another field in our placeholder. Now, in order to insert another field in our placeholder, what we need to do is uh, we need to ensure that you are in double click into it and you are in this view, not on top. If you do this, it will change the entire field. So you need to double click on it and ensure that you are in this view and what you're going to do is you're going to hold and drag that field and place it over here and now if you run your report it will show you the second field in your placeholder as well what we're going to do now is we want to apply formatting in our placeholder and to apply formatting in our placeholder we will go back to our design view to be honest this is much easier than the other one so double so double click on this and it will take you to the placeholder properties of that particular field which is annual salary that we had selected okay let me just go back and do it again so if you want to change the formatting of the second field or the first field you will double click on it and it will take you to the placeholder properties of that particular field Alterna alternatively what you can do is you can right click on it and select placeholder folder uh, placeholder properties and it will take you over here and so under the number you can go to the uh, currency over here if you want to and format that up and let's run it and so there you have it so that's that is how you can apply formatting onto placeholders and that's how you can use concatenation and uh, placeholders so i hope you have enjoyed watching this video if so please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next video.